Plus, the impact of climate change. The fate of a tiny frog prompts a local scientist to make a dire prediction. This is ABC 7 News at 6. And still to come on the news at 6, a once hardy frog is now dying off in large numbers. It may not be such a small problem for the human race. Well, every day it seems we report more scientific findings about the effects of climate change. Stories about grapes, salmon, rain, and temperatures. Typically, we report them as individual incidents. But as ABC 7's Wayne Friedman reports, scientific researchers see things differently, and they're worried about the implications. You're looking at a survivor, an amphibian, a class of vertebrate that has persevered four massive die-offs by other species in 300 million years. Today, Dr. Vance Friedenberg at San Francisco State University reported a chilling fact that now they are dying worldwide in unprecedented numbers. It's a combination of these things. It's the classic death by a thousand cuts. Yesterday, similar news about tropical coral reefs. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has moved to the oceans, raising their acidity and begun dissolving them. The skeletons that support those corals um, are dissolving faster than they can grow. But if you talk to scientists, there is more at stake here than coral reefs, more than amphibians. There is a story like this, it seems, every day in the news. Scientists are worried about the cumulative effect. The take-home message is that we are entering right now the sixth mass extinction of life on Earth. If nature changes, things change for us. We, our economy, our society is not independent from the economy of nature. It's actually very closely connected. Which brings us back to the dying amphibians. I think it's a danger signal like none we've ever seen before. They're falling most significantly to a strange new fungus. What is significant? The parallel that human beings have biological weaknesses as well. And the underlying ecology that um, leads to outbreaks and epidemics in these frogs is no different um, than the underlying epidemics that led to the Black Plague in humans or leading to SARS or AIDS or all these things. There's, there are many similarities between these. Science believes that the more stress we see in the biosphere, the more likely it is to move up. So when a PhD says something like this. If amphibians, these long-term survivors, are just dropping out of existence right now, I think what that's saying is that um, humans could be next. He's not trying to scare us. Just warn us. In San Francisco, Wayne Friedman, ABC7 News.